Yo, family, ever since I got Tendies on as a sponsor of the channel, people have been asking me, Keenan, I know you've been showing us this, but how do you use it? So we're going to talk about the stock today. I'm not giving you financial advice, but I got you. Take a look at this. It says right here. And again, this is one of those skills that can pay the bills when you get the information, but you also know how to apply it and master it. Take a look. And I highlighted this in green so it could be seen. It says right here. You see this arrow pointing at this 1.3 million? This is showing us, and what stock are we looking at? Amazon, but this is an option. But long story short, even if you don't understand options like that, understand that the institutions are betting on Amazon and they're willing to put $1.3 million on it on an option. What is the option's name? It's called the $90 call option with an expiration of April 21st, 2023. Now you see this, they bought 2,000 of them. How many contracts? 2,000. And look at the price, $6.00. 65 cents so how do we use this we go and we look for this option the 90 dollars call with the april 21st expiration let's go and look it up boom we look it up and we see that hold up the 90 dollars call is six dollars and 75 cents but when we looked at it before when the big dogs picked it up they picked it up at 665 and they bought two thousand of them so this means that they are already up and look at the time on this they bought it at 3 50 p.m now, options don't move when the stock market is closed. You won't see the price change on your apps. However, we can see what happened even before the market closed. But let's take a look. It went up from 665 to 675. So they bought 2,000 of them, which means they made a quick $20,000. But guess what? They could sell it right now if they want to. Or they could hold on because they might have a options profit calculator. For example, like on Tendies. And it's showing us right here. What if Amazon goes down to 91.5 today, for example? They would have lost 20%. What if it went down to 89? They would have lost 75%. But what if it went up? And I highlighted this in blue just for you. If it went up to $93 today, family, they would have made over 82% on that $1.3 million. They would almost double their money just from this thing moving like a dollar, if not $2. But look at this. They can hold it until April 21st. And if it gets over $95, family, literally every single one of these is showing that they will have basically made 200% of that $1.3 million, family. They will almost turn it into $3 million. This is the options profit calculator. And big dogs are using things like this so that they can be basically... No, they can know exactly what's going on and you can have this information too the link for tendies is in the description i put a little star on it so you can see it so now that's how you use it i wanted to dedicate the beginning of this video to showing you how to do it if you're on an iphone you get the app if you are android they don't have an android version of it yet but you can use it on a desktop family it's it's free a lot of people are charging a lot but i'm telling you information is key here so what i want to show you today amazon Amazon. We got to look at it, family. We got to take a click. Uh, come on now. It's at $91. This is why I showed you that option. $91.89, right? In the last five years, it's up 21%. Keep in mind, Amazon has come down so much that it has my eye on it because, again, I want to buy good companies when they are struggling and then ride the wave back up. Now, I'm not telling you to go pick up Amazon as if it's gonna go up and shoot up tomorrow. Yo, knuckleheads, I told you. Whenever I talk about a stock, the knuckleheads, they in a the building. Where my notepad at? Bop, bop, bop. Listen, just cause Keenan Grace is talking about a stock does not mean he thinks it's going to go up tomorrow. Amazon is one of those individual stocks that I'm looking to hold long-term. So, when am I looking to buy it? I'm not looking to buy it at any price. I will be willing to DCA, aka dollar cost average in it at this current price. However, I can see it coming down, especially with the economy. And I consider, you be the judge on your own, but I consider a nice buy range for Amazon about in the 70 to $85 range. Why is this the buy zone for me? Because if it falls under the 70, then in my opinion, and on the technicals, because I've ran through the charts in the last five years family this would be a falling knife if it hit 69 68 67 then it would just be dropping like a rock and i don't want to be buying it as it's falling i would let it crash and then i would try to buy it because amazon in my opinion is a great company make sure you do your own research i'm not giving you financial advice so let's take a look at why amazon is showing some weakness in the company but again 
they're a good overall company, but the economy, their interest rate hikes and everything like that is killing demand. The demand for all things that you might try to find on Amazon is killing the demand and it's hurting the company's profits. Let's take a look at some of the receipts. So it says right here, according to the New York Times, that Amazon reports almost no profit and slowing growth. No one who is a billionaire investing into this company is trying to hear anything like that, right? So this gives me a chance to say, hmm, I might be able to pick this up real low, right? So, okay, let's go and see. Let's get to some of the details. They're saying that Amazon reported almost no profit and unexpected weakness and slow overall sales and one of the lowest levels in decades. So now check this. Remember though, this is how we know Amazon is still a good company and it's the overall economy that's actually bad. It's not Amazon doing anything necessarily wrong as a company. Now you could argue that they are doing things wrong, but you be the judge of that. That's why I say do your own research. Check this out. Just one year ago, Amazon had its most profitable quarter ever. Just one year ago, I highlighted this in red. So I'm gonna hit you in your head. Bop, bop, bop. Now look at this. It says, but they're down the downshifting economy and Amazon's attempt to roll back its expansion plans are what is helping the stock to actually come down so that I could pick it up. So now, understand me on this. We want to think, how do we even figure that Amazon might be a good company? First of all, almost everybody is using it in the United States and many people outside of it as well. So there's still a lot of room for it to grow. So let's take a look at some of the numbers and receipts. It says in the United States, and this is one source, this is the lowest source that I've seen on the numbers there are sources that say even higher but this is the lowest one and i'm going with that one it says this because we want to be conservative in our estimates the united states which is amazon's largest base has almost 149 basically 148.6 amazon prime members as of 2022 right and again roughly this is a rough estimate but when you look at other sources you'll see that it says in 2022 right down here it's saying that there might even be 163 million but it's projected to go up for 2023 to 167 so still growth and then 2024 171 and these are basically 171 million family this is basically half the population of the united states family remember some of the united states population are kids so basically so many every other adult you could think of it like that if not even more than that has amazon prime or is using amazon in some capacity so now let's look at some of the facts it says right here how many people use amazon Another estimate is about 300 million active users currently, right? So there's still a whole lot of room for it to grow. There are billions of people that exist. So let's see this. What are the analysts saying about Amazon, right? Let's get right into it. And it says that they're saying that this company is worth 48% more than it already is. That's huge because the stock market moves about 10% in the last, basically every single year for the last century, family 100 years on average, sometimes lower, sometimes higher. But let's look at this. It says on a low, they're worth 106. They're analysts. Remember, they ain't your girl, Nancy, who up. Oh, I said it. I'm not, I'm getting demonetized. It is what it is. Shout out to Tendies. Please download Tendies and use the free link in the description so that you can get up on there. Help to support the channel because I'm I stay getting demonetized. So shout out to all of the sponsors that help. And shout out to the people that take advantage of these free things. Because I don't just bring you any sponsor. I actually bring you things that I know, love, trust and use myself to be successful in the market so now let's get it back they're saying analysts are saying 106 106 and i'm gonna just say it. they're not nancy pelosi baby i know they're getting demonetized put put nancy pelosi in the chat baby put her in the chat so here we go 106 and then they're saying 137 on a median but 106 would be they're saying a bear market however we are already in a bear market and it's even lower than that so again like i told you they don't know everything and then they're saying in a strong bull market a very strong bull market they can see it's going to 192 so now with all of that being said understand me i like it between 70 and about 84 but if it fell under that 70 it looks like a falling knife and if you catch it you catch a falling knife that's when you get sliced. So I'm not trying to get sliced and I'm not trying to get smoked. So if it fell under that family, this means we in a hard recession, baby. So then I would just be holding out and I would wait and I would load my cash up before continuing to buy it. But when the economy basically comes back, Amazon is poised to be in a position for the profits to go back up through the roof. Just one year ago, they hit basically all time high records of making money. Why? People have more money. The interest rates were down. The Fed wasn't doing what they're doing right now. 
which is actually hurting the company of Amazon. But remember, we like to buy things when they're struggling and then ride them back up to strength. Oftentimes, retail investors buy things when they're already strong and then it drops on them. So we want to do this and buy low and sell high. So now that's the end of the stock part of this video. If you appreciate everything that I'm doing here with the receipts going on the deep dives, hit the like. I want you to look at the number of likes and say, yo, did my boy Keenan deserve another like? And if so, hit the like. If not, hey, it is what it is. But if you have not subscribed and you feel like I deserve a new subscriber, welcome to the family, baby. And welcome to my OGs that have been back. But I say all of that to say this. Family, your boy been on a journey, man. Your boy been on a journey. I want you to just see something. You ain't going to see it fully. It might be a little bit blurry. And again, this is going to be me without a shirt on. I'm not trying to brag or nothing like that. I ain't got no six pack or nothing. But I've been working on myself. And I just wanted to just share some of that with you. So now if you don't want to see it, hey, skip all the video. It is what it is. So now take a look at this. Your boy, this is me on February 1st, right? And I've been working real hard. Today is March 1st. And this is a picture of me on March 1st. So I had a, a nice transformation. So look at this, February 1st. March 1st. So your boy been in the gym, man. Your boy been eating right and I've been working out. I want you to remember health is wealth and that's why I share this with you so you can realize you can make a change. I decided on that day, hey, listen, I'm ready to give it my best and I've been pushing real hard, right? I'm trying to stack my cash and I'm trying to get healthy financially, like I said, and also be healthy physically and be healthy mentally. I want to be a well-rounded person. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. And I know I don't usually talk about stuff like that in my personal life or anything, but we family, baby. I love y'all. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.